Okay guys, so we have about 20 eggs in here and about 10 eggs in here. These ones I'm using for French toast this morning. Um, we're gonna put some vanilla. I usually do nutmeg, but I guess I'm out of nutmeg or I, I don't know, I just can't find it. So I'm gonna just set, add a tiny bit of pumpkin spice just because it does have cinnamon, it has ginger, it has nutmeg and all those good flavors that you do find in French toast. So I'm not gonna put a ton, but pumpkin spice French toast, it's still gonna be good. <laughs> and we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon too. I know there is some cinnamon in here, but yeah. So we're just gonna add that to this bowl and then, hey you guys, so I've got a teaspoon about each of the cinnamon and pumpkin spice. Usually I would use nutmeg. So if you have your nutmeg, and you like it go for it and i'm also going to add a little bit of milk i'm using whole milk that's what i have i want to finish this gallon off so i'm just going to add a little bit of milk you can add as much as you want if you don't use whole milk you can use almond. all right you guys so i got my griddle here i got my mixture my egg mixture it has milk egg cinnamon and some pumpkin spice like i said i normally would do um nutmeg but i don't have any so I've got this bread, this is just some Walmart bread. I'm just gonna dip it in. And then I should have put butter on my pan. Hold on, I forgot that part. Okay guys, sorry, I had to put some butter on the pan. But anyway, so I've got my bread. Let me move you over here. I've got my bread here. We're just gonna dip into our egg mixture and put it on our pan now. Uh, don't keep your pan too high. I've done this, I don't know, this thing fell off, so I'm estimating what I'm at, but it recently has been cooking too high. I finally figured out how to turn it without the actual knob. Uh, you guys can use these, so don't throw these away. Just use them. You know, if your kids don't like them, just eat them. No point in wasting. No point in wasting. So I'm just going to throw that on like so. And I'm going to get all these All right, you guys, so with one loaf of bread, 10 eggs, I got three batches. So I got, what, 24 um, pieces of French toast from 10 eggs and one, so one uh, loaf of bread. So that, for 24 pieces of French toast, you can cut these into strips. It's so much cheaper to make it your, yourself because um, you can buy those uh, fr the uh, freezer French toast in the freezer section, but you're going to spend a lot more money for a way less amount. So 10 eggs cost you maybe a dollar. Loaf of bread, 88 cent at Walmart. That's $2 right there. And you've got all this French toast. You don't need the spices unless you have them. Cinnamon is a dollar, but you're not going to use a dollar worth of cinnamon. So $3 or less, $2 or less, pretty much. You can get 24 large pieces of French toast. You can pop in your toaster in the morning. You can freeze them. How I'm going to freeze. All right, you guys. So I got some of my French toast and I still have about five more pieces of French toast cooking. Um, I did about a bag and a half, something like that. Um, my kids had this for breakfast and my husband, so they did get a lot of it, but it's okay. We still have a lot left and I still am making a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to just quickly show you guys how to get these ready for the freezer. So I'm just going to take them. Um, I got wax paper here, so I'm just using some wax paper so they don't stick. And I'm going to freeze them in layers so that, like, they don't stick together. So, like, if you were to um, put these all in one bag together, they would stick together. When you would want one, they would be all stuck, so you'd have to thaw the whole thing out. Great thing about doing it this way, I'm going to just take another piece of wax paper and sit it right on top. Great thing about doing it this way is if you just want one piece... You could just take one out and put it in the toaster. That's, I'm, that's why I'm not doing strips. If you want strips, you can do that and microwave them. But I want to be able to just pop these in the toaster in the morning uh, for my kids and have a, a quick breakfast. Uh, saves me time and money from buying um, for my next layer. So I'm just going to keep doing this. 
Uh, but yeah, it saves me time. This one is the end piece of the bread, so uh, that's going to be fine. Another end piece here. Uh, it just saves me time and uh, money, you know, from buying freezer food. Freezer food is super convenient, but it does get pricey. So I'm just going to put these all together. I might need, let's see, I have five more left and I got four here. So I'll do possibly one more row. So, and then these will be set for the freezer. So I've got, let's see, six, 12, 18, 18. And then I'll have 24 pieces, something like that. Uh, I should have more, but like I said, um, my husband and kids got to them. But it's okay, I'm making pancakes and other things. I just want to have something ready to go. So this is how you can freeze them if, when you do your pancakes and stuff. Same thing, do it just like this. You can even reuse this wax paper when these are all set. Okay, you guys, so I'm taking my French toast out of the freezer. So um, it's on wax paper, so now they're completely hard. They're frozen solid, you can't bend them. And you just go ahead and put it in a Ziploc. So okay, you put this in, so bring it over. Okay, so we're just gonna pop these in. And now um, you can easily just put these in the toaster oven or your toaster. If you wanna do microwave, you can, but um, you don't have to and then here's your second layer and it just peels right off and now you can just pop them in um, I don't cut strips because I, I like to put this in the toaster um, but if you want to cut strips you can do it the same way and warm them up but that's pretty much it you can do this for pancakes um, as well if you want to make a bunch and don't want them to stick together I have some pancakes there that I'm gonna put um, in the back in this I'm gonna save this wax paper and do the pancakes, freeze them next. So yeah, I'm that's it, it you twice. guys. Okay guys, our fresh toast is done. It is very, very hot. It is nice, it's crispy on the outside because we put it in the toaster. All right, you guys, this is so perfect. Um, like I said, save you time and money. You can cut this into strips for your kids or just eat it like, like this. All right, you guys, thanks so much watching hope you guys give this a try and see you next time